Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. I heard. Oh, the Kaiser. Then it automatically rises from there. Becomes a, a little rocker panel. Yep. For, for uh, each car. It grabs the car, pulls it down to the correct right. Oh, really? Wow. And then the whole uh, wheel turner yeah. and the center belt will perfect on the wheel. Turner. How do you keep it in the same place? Strengths and tends to amplify them all the time. Um, and that's the effect we use in this turning game. Because we have spin, and zero, and zero. And uh, you will not hear any spin. Jürgen, mach mal ein ganz bisschen Wind. In the plan, we have 30 km an hour. Stay in the middle, please. <laughs> That's it, great. Turn it up. The wind is blowing right now with 50. And look at me. Oh, again. I got, I got one. Need to be quicker. Yeah. We have a five belt system, so we have a, a single belt in the middle who's, that simulates uh, the road, the moving road. And we have for each wheel, we have a, a little belt that uh, keeps the wheels turning because the, the turning wheel is very important for the flow around the car. So we get uh, almost exact the conditions we have on the road. It is state of the art. Um, we have. It said it's Ben. It's the best in the world. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Has to be the best in the world. If it's not, we now need to change it. It is state of the art, and it is the quietest, quietest wind tunnel in the world. We we want to build the quietest cars and the most efficient cars, and so we have to have the best tunnel too. Uh, we have a good wind tunnel at the team, we have two, but it's not as high tech or as big as this one. And this one, uh, I think, takes the wind tunnel to an another le level. We, we can only take um, the 60% car size yeah. model car in the wind tunnel, so it's, we probably don't need as big a space, yeah. but still, it's quite un unreal. I've seen the one in other wind tunnels, smaller, smaller version of it, yeah. but that's that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Rooms, we have two preparation rooms, one left, one right, uh, where the cars are preparated. So we have. Uh, the so it's like your model shop. Mm -hmm. We have a model shop where we're preparing the models, yeah, right. two models, and we run one. Right. You understand the shapes and how all the shape flows until you yeah. actually see it driving. But do you remember the old CL? Yeah. Or the, the latest yeah. one I had. I mean that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Should I uh, yeah. switch to the C class yeah, now? Please. Can you spin on a pop? Uh, yeah, oh, well, I really like the, some of the movement is really good in this. There's yeah. some things that are better in here than it is in the Formula One car. But um, but yeah, I, th I don't know if it's with the graphics or where the screen yeah. is. It feels a little bit easier to adapt to. Because in the, when you get in the Formula One simulator, you don't have to do much adapting. And so I've I've never ever, ever felt sick there. But I think it's with some queuing or something. I don't know. Uh, you feel there's just a difference, difference between the way the car reacts and the stiffness of, of the, ro the roll and the pitch as you turn from co uh, left to right. Mm -hmm. You can feel the stiffness, you can feel the difference, and it feels a lot like an E-Class when you drive it. It is. I think, I think when you come to the factory and just see all the different elements uh, from the wind tunnel to the simulator, just to see, I think people that buy the cars around the world have and even for me, when I had no real comprehension of just how much work goes into building a car and making it the best car in the world. And, and, um, and that's what Mercedes-Benz is the best at. And now I know exactly how they do it and why they do it so well. Because they have systems like this and, and great people in the team who, who come together to make it all happen.